Hey, good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is Monday, Monday, June 24, 2019. Good evening. I'm Dave Gear. This is Let's Have a Chat, Monday edition, and uh, sports and leadership. So today's topic is too much of a good thing. And again, if you saw the show notes or you saw the hashtags, what I'm talking about, today I'm talking about the video assistant replay or video, video assistant referee, the VAR, not the value added. There's that flyaway hair. Anyway, good evening. So that's what I'm talking about. Instant, instant replays. Too much of a good thing. It seems that that thing has taken over the World Cup. I think it's taken over. It's it's taking things and it's changing the game. Um, we're in the middle of a storm. So if the power goes out, uh, hopefully the uh, internet connection still remains. But if not, well, have a good evening. All right. So too much of a good thing. So there was a need for this instant replay. It was there for football and and it finally made its place into football for those of you that don't remember that there was a time that instant replay was not part of the national football league and then it slowly crept its way into other sports it slowly crept into well major league baseball it was okay it it kind of it held its own hockey now does it basketball does it and now women's fifa women's world cup and it's just this referee up in this up in the cloud someplace he's watching a video and he's making decisions, he's making calls on what he sees or she sees or whoever it is. But um, it's too much of a good thing, folks. Definitely too much of a good thing. It's like this light, it's just too much of a good thing. Anyway, so what I'm getting at is in leadership, in life, sometimes people would wanna take the easy route or say, well, you know, this is gonna be bigger, this is gonna be better, this is going to be the next great thing since sliced bread. And it comes in and it comes in like gangbusters and it delivers but after a while it tries to maintain its um existence it tries to well basically be what it should not have been in the first place it was supposed to assist not to run the game so we we depend on this and we give it up and we we give we turn over power to this technology we turn over our well our sense of decision making into to this technology because the technology is right the technology can't be wrong and yet it gets called into question and now it's really being called into question here in the women's world cup and they don't deserve it no professional sport deserves it i mean again and especially in these international competitions these are these are comp- people representing their nation and they don't need to you know be tossed to the wayside because of technology so the same thing goes is people, individuals, you're dealing with your customers, you're dealing with your stakeholders. Again, they do not need to, well, fall by the wayside because you're deferring to technology instead of as the end all be all of the decision maker as opposed to it becomes a tool that the decision makers use. So let's be careful out there because it is easy and especially for up and coming leaders, up and coming managers, uh, small businesses starting up, you start deferring to technology, and what's it going to get you? Well, it's going to get you a lot of heartache. It's going to get you a lot of, well, it's going to get you a lot of nothing. And uh, you want something, especially in those startups, the small businesses, the mom and pop operations, don't defer to technology, still defer to your decision making skills, because that's what got you to this point. And that's what's going to keep you moving forward. So, what is FIFA going to do? I have no idea, but they need to do something, they need to do it soon. Other than that, that's all I got for tonight. Sports and leadership. Let's have a chat. It is Monday, June 24, 2019. It's the last full week of uh, June. We're about to start the next uh, next half of the year. Can you believe that? So anyway, well, listen, I thank you for watching. If you like, hit the like button. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Leave some comments. Talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. And uh, until next time, take it, take it easy. Have a good one. I'll talk to you tomorrow.